Level up your video with a stunning impact. Emphasize music beats or leave a dramatic feel. Start creating this experience with the shake effect. In this video, I'm going to show you how I create this effect and how you can too using animation in Movavi Video Editor. So let's go. Begin by dropping your clip into the timeline. Next, find the exact moment that you want the effect to start. In this case, I'm looking for the moment of impact, where the elbow connects with the punching bag. Now with the playhead at the exact beginning moment, insert freeze frame by using the hotkey Control e Now, using the still frame, we can begin adding animation. To apply animation to a clip, start by clicking the More Tools icon, then open the Video Editing dropdown and navigate to Animation. In the Animation tool, choose Advanced. Next, you'll want to click Add Animation. After adding, two animation keyframes will appear down on your selected clip. By clicking and dragging, slide the second keyframe close to the first keyframe and scale in on your timeline as much as possible. Now once you're fully scaled in, use the timeline ruler as a reference and place the second keyframe about three marks away from the first. After placing the second keyframe, it's time to add the third. Again, using the timeline ruler, I will count three marks forward, left click to reposition the playhead, click add keyframe. Now I will repeat this process until I have about 10 keyframes. After I have them placed, I will return to the first keyframe to begin editing. Starting with the first keyframe, give it a right click and select edit keyframe. Now to make things easier, shrink your preview window down by grabbing this little line below the window and moving it up. This will help you see the boundary lines better. These lines will be a helpful reference during this process. By using these, you can ensure that your image covers the frame at all times, so you don't end up with black bars along the edges of your finished effect. Now we are ready to begin resizing each keyframe. For this example, I want a big shake upon impact that slowly tapers away. This can be achieved by enlarging the first keyframe and making each one thereafter slightly smaller. Begin by enlarging the first keyframe and offsetting its position. Remember to use the guides as you do this. Once placed, continue by right-clicking in the second animation keyframe in your timeline and choose Edit Keyframe. Now I like to use the first keyframe as a reference. By lining up with it, I can resize so it's just a little smaller. Again, this will make the shake effect taper off after impact. Continue this process with each keyframe, reducing the size and changing the position each time. By now, you're probably getting the idea, so I'm going to fast forward through the rest of these. While we're waiting, remember you can adjust the aggressiveness of your shake effect by changing the size and offset distance between your keyframes. Now that the edits are completed, I'm going to trim the freeze frame by grabbing the end and dragging it close to my last animation keyframe. Now for this particular scene, I'm going to speed up the before and after clips to give it a bit more of a realistic feel. Next, just to smooth things out a little, I will add a mild blur filter to the effect. For the final cherry on top, I found a deep bass sound effect from zapspot.com that I'll drop in right at the beginning of the impact. Now let's watch it through and see how it turned out. And thanks for watching.